hi everyone welcome to my channel if you're new welcome if you're returning welcome back today's video is going to be a fall tag when I googled the questions they were always in between 10 and 15 questions but there were so many different questions about fall so I just picked the questions that I really enjoyed and thought would be fun to answer I saw a lot of people that I followed doing this and I really enjoyed their questions and answers so if you're interested in seeing what my answers are to some of these questions just keep watching the very first question is what's your favorite fall lip on an everyday basis, like when I'm going to work or just running around town, grocery shopping, I usually just wear a nude or something neutral, like a pinky nude, something just very neutral, even a mauve. But when I'm feeling adventurous or I'm going out on the weekends or a night out, I will wear something like what I have on. What I'm wearing today is Stila Aria. It's one of my favorite purples for the fall. It's not too dark. It's just absolutely beautiful. And two other of my favorites is the Stila, see I love these Stila liquid lipsticks. I believe these are the first, one of the first brands to come out with the liquid lipsticks. I remember buying these years and years ago. But my very favorite is, all, it's very similar to what I'm wearing and it's called Becca, B-A-C-C-A, -C -C -A, I believe that's how it's pronounced. And it's this gorgeous, purpley, almost like a, just, it's actually just a purple with a little bit of red undertone I'd say. And it's very similar to what I'm wearing, but I love this one a little bit more. This one's Aria. Stop it, you two. When I want to wear a red, I usually go for Anastasia's Beverly Hills American Doll when I want a blue base red. But I'm more into an orangey red, so I usually go for Spicy. This is the most perfect orange, um, orangey red from my, my personal taste. I absolutely love it. If you want a good orange-based red, I would try this one out. It wears all day. I barely have to touch it up through eating and drinking. It's one of my favorites. So these two are definitely my favorite falls. It's Stila Becca and then Anastasia Beverly Hills Spicy and then I like Aria too from Stila. I prefer a liquid lip. I'm busy all day. I don't have enough time to constantly reapply. But when I do have time, I do often wear a lipstick too. But these are my favorite for this fall. Next question was what is your favorite nail polish for the fall time I'm definitely the type of person that does like seasonal nails in the summer I like we want something much more bright and neutral and pretty or neon and towards the fall and winter I definitely like to wear more dark colors my absolute two favorite dark colors of all time I have only one with me I have so many nail polishes and I couldn't find the one my one other one I've been collecting nail polishes for years and years. I like to do my own Manny and Petty, but this one is OPI Lincoln Park After Dark, and it's not quite black. It's definitely more of a purple. It definitely comes off black, but it's such a deep, deep purple. I like blacks, but I feel like they make my hands look very white and ghostly, so I sort of like to go for more purple, like a deep, rich purple, and I love OPI Lincoln Park After Dark and I love 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 Essie's Wicked. It is the most perfect fall colors on your toes on your hands they just look beautiful so if you see them pick them up because they're definitely both great. The third question which obviously I don't have with me is what's your favorite fall drink and I do like something pumpkin. Um, we have something called Wawa here in I believe it's in Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey. It's like a big um, sort of like a 7-Eleven type store, like a little convenience store, and they have the best pumpkin spice coffee. It's very seasonal, so when you when they have it, you gotta grab it, and I definitely like that. And I usually don't put any type of creamer with it. I sort of like just that spicy taste, and I like a chai tea latte. They're good too. The next question was, what's your favorite fall candle? Um, I don't like to keep candles in the house, especially with a little dog and a little cat running around. I don't want anybody getting hurt. I like to use wax melt and I love anything that smells like like a candle shop or like really cinnamony or spices like um, like a Turkish spice or like a head shop anything like that I'd love so a few of my favorites I've mentioned this in every video I've done with cleaning is the warm apple pie it's very spicy cinnamony nutmeg anything like that I love they used to have this one called Turkish market and it reminded me of like um, like cumin and cinnamon and all those wonderful spices. It was so good, they discontinued it. It made me so upset. I've searched Amazon, everything. 
and I found one that's a little similar to that, but I've never quite found one that smelled exactly like Turkish Market. I also have this one here, which is great. If you see these, pick them up. They're amazing. This one is cinnamon buns, and that's exactly what it smells like. It smells like a bakery cinnamon bun. You're going to want to eat these when you smell them, but don't. <laughs> And then here's the one that smells like it's called Give Thanks. It's limited edition. They'll probably have it right around up to Christmas time when they switch over to their Christmas scents at Walmart. Right now they have their more fall scents out. And this one, it definitely has that like spice smell. Like I'm not sure how to describe it. Just like a spicy cinnamon fall wintertime smell. And these are great. And this is what my house smells like. All through winter and fall thankfully these are so strong that you don't need more than one brick and they'll last between probably three days you can get out of it really strong and then I mean you could also burn it longer if you wanted to they're just not gonna be quite as strong but again this one's give thanks warm apple pie are some of my favorites and the cinnamon bun but honestly anything from sensational or better homes I recommend for two dollars they're amazing my favorite fall accessory was the next question, and I had ordered this bag online. I was looking for something like this. I did an entire video on it. If you want to see that, I will link it down below. But just this fall bag, I absolutely love it. It is wonderful, and it doesn't look as, you know, like it holds a lot, but I've been able to stuff everything I needed when I was traveling in here. So this was a great purchase. And I love a great booty for the fall and winter. I like to wear these with a pair of leggings and a like oversized sweater. I feel like they will dress up any outfit. These are from Macy's. My husband got me these two Christmases ago and it's called they're called Carlos. They're the Carlos the Carlos Santana. Um, they were quite pricey. I almost killed them when he bought them. They were like over $100. Now in my opinion, I'll get a pair of booties from like Marshalls or TJ Maxx for under 20 bucks. That's usually where I get them. I've also bought shoes from Peebles. I don't know how many people have Peebles. I don't know if it's like all over, but it's like a small department store, sort of like a Macy's. And they don't hold anything like super high end, but I've gotten great cute booties there for $10 when they were doing their like 90% off sales. It was crazy. But yeah, these were a Christmas gift. They were like, yeah, I think they were over a hundred bucks at Macy's but they get a lot of use. I love the buckles with the accessories. They go with anything, and I love these with a pair of nice ripped up jeans for the fall or a pair of leggings with an oversized sweater. That's usually what I wear all fall and winter long. The next question was, do I like hay rides, mazes, or haunted houses? To be honest, I don't like any of them. I hate the feeling of being scared. In real life, I do enjoy a very good scary movie or a book because Stephen King is my favorite author and I'm reading my way through all his books. Anyway, no, I don't like any of them. Um, a couple years ago, my husband and the kids went to the Eastern State Penitentiary, their nighttime like Halloween tour where they scare the daylights out of you. I did their day tour, which is more historical based and like they tell you the statistics of inmates and all kinds of really incredibly interesting stuff. We're only about an hour away from Philadelphia and the prison. So we did the day tour. They've done the nighttime tour. But if I had to pick one, I suppose I would like to be on a hayride, a tractor where you're sitting down and, you know, the walking part where you feel like you're not protected by anything scares me. But if I had to pick one, it would definitely be a hayride. I used to do hayrides all the time as a kid. Definitely don't like walking through anything. The next question is, what's your favorite or what movie has scared you the most over the years. And definitely two of the scariest movies I've ever seen are The Exorcist. That movie has scared me. I saw it when I was 12 years old and I probably shouldn't have. I know a lot of kids these days have seen such gory, um, awful movies that that movie's silly to them, but I think it's more the realistic part of the movie that's so scary and less gore, it's more of the fact that it could possibly happen if you believe in something like that and it frightened me terribly as a kid that and this movie is a little silly to be that scared of but when I was a teenager the house of a thousand corpses came out it was the very first movie Rob Zombie had ever done 
and um, it scared me horrendously. I don't know why it scared me so bad, except maybe it was the situation where the bad guys won, which is usually doesn't happen. Usually there's some triumph in the movie and someone defeats them, but the bad guys win in that movie and it's horrendously scary. But it's also a really great movie. I love all of Rob Zombie's movie. My favorite fall candy, which is probably gross to some people, is I love candy corns. Um, they're waxy and gross, but I do love them and they're addicting. You can never just eat one and I like all the flavors. I like the original, the caramel, the pumpkins, anything. I love candy corn and I like any seasonal candy. I'll tell you what's a great seasonal candy is the Kit Kat pumpkin spice. Give it a try. It's super good. Um, I don't know if it's your favorite costume or what you're going to be this year. I haven't dressed up in years. Um, my daughter's going to be 13 this year and she still dresses up so that really makes me happy and she's had some amazing costumes. She was Little Bo Peep one year and people stopped us everywhere because they had never seen a costume like that. And I do like, we do semi homemade costumes where obviously you buy some stuff and I make some stuff for her. She's been a firefighter which was really cute and people are like, oh it's a little girl who's a fireman but I, or a fire person and I was like, you know, what does it matter? She, her father was a volunteer fireman at the time and she wanted to be that and who was I to tell her not and boy she looked adorable. She's been a cat, she's been everything. But my personal favorite costume that I ever was, I don't believe I'll dress up this year, but my mom was very crafty when I was growing up so most of my costumes were made and she made me the most gorgeous princess costume. It was this gorgeous dress and I know it's really cliche but I was so insistent on having that funnel round um, pointy hat with the ribbons and she made it and it was just absolute perfection and I was Little Red Riding Hood one year and she made that costume and it was absolutely perfect. So I'm excited to see what Brooke wants to be this year. I think she wants to go a little more scary but she's had some really cool costumes. And last but not least it's your favorite thing about fall time. Um, I'm more of a summer person. I do enjoy every season honestly. I do more tend to like summer just because I like to be in the water. I'm from the shore area. It's our thing, you know, I love being at the beach. But I do enjoy, you know, the turning of the seasons. I love that there's football and it's cooler and I can have my windows open and you can wear your sweaters and the change of the colors outside with the leaves and all the activities with school. You got the football games, basketball games. I just like participating in all that and being able to be back at school with the kids. All that is really fun so I do I like something about every season summer's definitely my favorite but fall times really fun too so those were all the questions I really hope you enjoyed my answers to any of these questions I take anybody that wants to do it because this is so much fun to answer even if you don't have a channel answer these questions they're so much fun you know and share them with people that you love because it is fun to answer these I really hope you take a second to subscribe to my channel. It would mean a whole lot to me. I really hope you enjoyed this and thank you so much for watching. Bye.